Hey guys, Satoshi Rebel here. Welcome to my new channel. Uh, in this channel, I'm going to talk about different things than on my uh, other channel. I'm going to show more about my life. I'm going to share more ideas with you. I'm going to talk about everyday subjects, of course, also about crypto because we all want to make some money. So in this video, I want to give the world a message. So the past couple of years, we have seen a lot of fear in the world you know there was a lot of fear and also constantly on the media every day we saw fear 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 do you know what the exact opposite of fear is it's love so what do you prefer fear or love we have seen the last couple of years what fear does to people people have been more aggressive towards each other I've never seen so much hate everywhere. People fighting with each other over silly things. So we have seen what fear does. But the strongest emotion of all is love. So love creates compassion, good feelings, butterflies in the stomach, happy people. Shared happiness, it's double the happiness. So I believe, but this is my opinion, that we should choose love again. Because fear has created nothing but negativity. We get this information from this television and it affects us all. I realized when I stopped watching the news, these feelings of fear, they went away. So I didn't get influenced anymore by the news. Believe me, feels great. Maybe you should try it. What do we see? We see war between peoples that always work together. Of course, sometimes, you know, even if you have a brother, you, you fight with him, you know? If you have a brother, you can relate with me. But it doesn't mean you have to kill each other, like Cain and Abel. When will people understand? Stop killing each other. I'm an analyst and there's a time where you gotta sit down and, and start thinking critically and start thinking like, what did this brought me? Happiness or sadness? And then maybe try to change it for once. I promise you, you will see a huge difference. Hate is being created by people telling you, people who are, aren't interested in your well-being, telling you who to hate and why. But you got to realize that it's so important to be objective. And if you see only one opinion, maybe that opinion can be wrong. Maybe these people have an employer. Who does he work for? Who owns them? And what are their interests? Follow the money. So let's try and put all of us together, our collective thinking towards peace. And believe me, you can make a difference. Don't join the hate. What has hate brought us? How many people can still pay their bills? Do you think that every president in the history of mankind was a good man? So let's try and take everything with a grain of salt. And let's not submit to hatred because we are all brothers and sisters. We all have the same struggles. Some of us more than others. Apart from a few, we all want the same in life. We want peace, prosperity. So how do we get it? By war or by working together? If there is a solution for peace, why don't certain people take that chance to create peace? Because do you realize that in a war there are no victors? There are no winners? There are no winners. People are cannon fodder. And where is the general? Where are the highest guys? Not on the battlefield, safely tucked away. And you gotta, you gotta give your life and leave behind a wife, children. Maybe you haven't got children. What then? The greatest thing you can do is have children. And then when they have children and you have the honor of seeing them grow, that's the greatest thing you can do in your life. Be a mother, be a father. So don't leave them. Don't leave that future. Do you remember? In the war, when it was Christmas Day, and the Americans and the Germans, one of them threw a ball. And both of them appeared out of the trenches, and they started celebrating, singing, and dancing with each other. And from that moment on, they didn't want to fight each other anymore. 
they didn't want to fight each other anymore. So their regiments had to be replaced with other soldiers. Can you imagine that this happens along all the trenches? Actually, you already know what you should do. So why don't we all do what should be done? And that's helping your brother in need. It's, in, it's important to, to love, to spread love, to be kind, to be humble. Even though it's difficult when you're fighting your ego, but it's the best thing you could do. Jesus showed us the way. Jesus was a feet washer. He was the son of God. And he's a feet washer. We can be free through him. But we all get this opportunity to be here on this earth. To learn. To love. Let Jesus be your example. He was a feet washer, but he was the son of God. And he actually showed us the way to be humble. And what happens when your ego gets in the way, well then, somebody gets in trouble. Could be you, could be others, and bad things happen. If it's a clash of the egos, then it's war. So that's not the answer. It could easily be avoided by choosing love. How many more people does God have to send mankind for them to finally understand? Haven't we seen in history such great examples of honor, loyalty, love, friendship, brotherhood? Aren't we all knights of the old? So let's unite instead of divide. Let's lose the fear. Let's choose the love. Make love not war guys so guys i hope you enjoyed this video you would do me a, a great favor if you would all subscribe so thanks a lot guys see you soon and all take care peace and love bye bye